Hey guys, welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it's time for a species spotlight. Today I'm in front of one of my many quarantine tanks and we're going to talk about Parachyridon simulons, the green neon tetra. Now, they are one of my favorite little fishes for a few reasons. They are extremely vibrant, even at the young size that these are. And they're great schoolers and they look fantastic in a planted tank. They're just absolutely stunning. So let's take a look. Now this is just a 30 gallon quarantine that has a little bit of driftwood and a few plants. Now these guys are a South American tetra originating in uh, Brazil from the Rio Negro as well as the Orinoco in Colombia. And they come from extreme black water meaning that there is a ton of tannins. There's also really thick riparian growth and again that is when there's a lot of plants growing out of the water not so much under the water. In their native habitat the pH can be as low as three from all the leaf litter and driftwood. Um, in your aquarium they can take anywhere up to about seven pretty comfortably. Higher than that and they, they're just not as hardy as some other choices. In the wild they eat filamentous algae as well as micro crustaceans, fallen fruit, really anything that hits the water. These guys are pretty petite, maxing out at about an inch. And you can see they're different from other neons in that they don't have as much red coverage and that lateral stripe is more of a green-blue color. Um, they're interesting too in that if you keep them in an aquarium that is very bright, they're a bit more washed out. Whereas if you keep them in a tank that has you know, a dark background or less bright lighting, they really get very, very, very vibrant. I particularly like them in planted tanks um, because they're very good directional schoolers. You'll see, I'm sure they'll dart here at some point. They really band together well and have a good directional movement. Now these I have not bred. Um, I'm sure it'd be similar to any other Tetra. But they are one of my most favorite choices. Now th these guys are maybe Mm, three quarters of an inch at this point, maybe a little smaller. So relatively young, but even at this size you can see how beautiful their coloration is, which just is what makes them such an excellent choice for a planted tank. They also work particularly well with um, dwarf cichlids like Epistogramma or dwarf Coriodorus, Otocinclus, hatchets, any of those sort of smaller, more peaceful South American fishes they do really exceptional with. I feed these guys crushed flake as well as white worms and microworms, so they'll readily accept a wide range of frozen or dried foods. If you haven't kept them yet, this is definitely one that should be on your must keep list at some point in your hobby. Thanks for watching. Make sure you stop by my Facebook page as well as my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my current stock list, my upcoming speaking engagement, and information on all things nano. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if there's a particular species you'd like to see spotlighted or if there's an idea you have for a Tuesday tip or a travel log.